Hi there, thank you for joining me today on this video demonstration of AWS Glue. My name is Kamen Sharonjev, I'm a Senior Specialist Solutions Architect with AWS, and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to use AWS Glue to integrate Google BigQuery. AWS Glue is a serverless data integration service that makes it easier to discover, prepare, move, and integrate data from multiple sources for analytics, machine learning, and application development. With AWS Glue, you can discover and connect to over 70 diverse data sources, manage data in centralized data catalog, and visually create, run, and monitor ETL pipelines to load data into data lakes or data warehouses. For this demonstration, I'm going to use AWS Glue Studio to visually create an ETL pipeline without writing any code. Now, let's have a look at the solution we're going to build today. For today's demonstration, we're going to build a simple ETL pipeline using AWS Glue Studio. We're going to configure AWS Glue to securely connect to our Google BigQuery data warehouse, read a public data set, and store the data into Amazon Simple Storage Service in Parquet format. And once we have our data stored in Amazon S3, we're going to use AWS Glue to augment and aggregate our data and store it back into Google BigQuery. Now join me on the AWS console and let's build the solution. Okay, here we are on the AWS console where the first thing I'm going to do is create a new S3 bucket where we're going to store all our data. I'm going to leave all options as default. And now that we have our S3 bucket created, the second thing I'm going to do is create our secret in AWS Secrets Manager. Now, following the documentation of AWS Glue, you will have to create a service account in your Google Cloud Platform, download the keys, and then you will have to base64 encode these keys. To do this, I will use the AWS Cloud Shell. So I already have the file uploaded in my Cloud Shell, and I'm going to execute the following command, which will produce a base64 encoded string of my credentials. Now, this is the information I'm going to copy and store in my Secrets Manager under the credential key. I'm going to leave all other options as default and create our key. Now that we have all prerequisites, let's go to AWS Glue. You can find the AWS Glue service under the Analytics Portfolio of Services. And the first thing we're going to do in AWS Glue is to create our BigQuery connection. For that, we're going to head to Data Connections, click Create Connection, give the connection a name, and then select Google BigQuery from the dropdown. Now, the only other thing we need to do is select the newly created secret, which contains the credential for our Google BigQuery account. Now, Let's head over to the Visual ETL with AWS Glue Studio and create our Visual ETL pipeline. For a source, I'm going to choose Google BigQuery. And on the right side, we need to select our connection. We need to identify a parent project. If you don't have a parent project, use the current project where your data set sits. And for the purpose of this demonstration, I have copied and stored into my Google BigQuery account a uh, public database of earthquakes during the history. Now, once we select our data set, we want to preview our data and see our schema. Few seconds later, our data preview is done and we can see the schema of our data. Next, I'm going to select an Amazon S3 target node. I'm going to select the S3 bucket that we've created for this demo and leave all the other options as default. We're going to have Parquet as a default file format and Snappy as a default compression type. And finally, before we can save our job, we need to give it a name. I'm going to call it AWS Glue BigQuery Demo. Click Save and run our job. And a few moments later, we can now see that our glue job has succeeded. Now let's navigate to Amazon S3 and see our data. You can see here that we have many Parquet files. So let's select one and use Amazon S3 Select to query our data. We're going to leave Apache Parquet as a default input format, select JSON as an output, and run our query. 
Now you can see that this file contains several records and the first records indicates an earthquake that happened in 1751 and it was in the Dominican Republic. Now that we have our data in Amazon S3, let's head back to AWS Glue and create our second job that will augment the data and write it back into BigQuery. This time I'm going to select Amazon S3 as a source of our data, select the same S3 bucket I used to write the data and Parquet as an input format. Now let's preview our data so we make sure that we have our correct data set. Now the first thing we need to do is set the output schema. Now let's add an aggregation node and let's aggregate our data by country. So I want to see all earthquakes by country. So I'm going to select a country as a group by field. I'm going to aggregate the data by ID and select the count function. Now, one last thing I want to do before writing the data is to change the schema and change the name of the field I have as a count. Now, let's select Google BigQuery as a target node this time. And again, we will have to select our connection, uh, the parent project and the table where we want to store our data. With the Google BigQuery target node, we support both direct and indirect writing method. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to choose direct method. And finally, we need to give this job a name, save it, and let's run our job. A moment later, our glue job has succeeded. Now, the last thing I want to do is I want to visualize the data we just written in Google BigQuery. For this, I'm going to switch back to visual. I'm going to select Google BigQuery as a source node, select the same connection and parent project. And this time, let's run a custom query. When executing custom queries, there are two additional parameters we need to provide. The first one is materialization dataset, and we need to have use enabled. And let's this time run a custom query that will provide us with the countries with most earthquakes. Let's preview our data. And as you can see, according to our public data set, it is China that appears to have the most earthquakes. Thank you for joining this short demonstration on AWS Glue integration with Google BigQuery. To learn more about AWS Glue, please visit aws.amazon.com slash glue.